Hi, I'm Dr. Rajdeep. I'm a dermatologist and dermatosurgeon working at Chirag Hospital in Bangalore. A glycolic peel is one of the most common outpatient procedures done in a dermatology clinic. So why is it the most common procedure? Because it can be used to treat a lot of conditions. Not only can it be used to treat pimples and pigmentation, but it can also be used in normal people who have developed a sun tan after a long exposure to sunlight. It can also be used in people with perfectly normal skin who want a glow for their skin. So what does glycolic acid do? Glycolic acid peels off the top dead layer of the skin and makes new skin grow, giving the skin a glow. The top dead layer contains most of the pigment and uh, uh, bacteria related to pimples which come off after the peel. So what can a person undergoing a glycolic peel expect? Generally, while undergoing a peel, the person feels a small prickly sensation or itching sensation when the peel is applied on the skin. There is mild peeling of the skin which is microscopic and not visible to the patient. The patient might feel dryness or some powdery kind of feeling on the face for the first 4 to 5 days after the peel. Thus, we advise the patients certain different kinds of medicines to heal the skin for the first 5 days after a glycolic peel. Also, since the top layer of the skin is removed, the skin becomes more sensitive to sunlight and we ask the patients to strictly avoid sunlight for the first 5 days after the peel and even subsequently till the next peel. The general precautions that I ask my patients after undergoing a glycolic peel is to use a sunscreen twice or thrice a day depending on the type of sunscreen they use and depending on their skin type and use some uh, skin rejuvenating agents like human epidermal growth factor which is available as a gel to be applied twice daily for the first 5 days after a peel.